welcome back to my channel. This is the very first time I'm filming at 8.30 p.m. Okay, so today I have a haul slash first impressions video to share with you guys. Um, it's going to be quite a high-end beauty haul. Um, not everything is super high-end, but I feel like most of it are quite high-end. Okay, so I did manage to try out a couple of the products, but I actually only received the package less than a week ago, so do not expect like a really accurate review. It's just going to be like a first impressions. So this video is in collaboration with Cosmedy.com. They sent me all these items, but as usual, I picked out all the items myself. So I basically shopped on their website like a regular consumer because obviously, I want to love these products, so I did my research, I read reviews on the products before I chose them, and I picked the shades myself as well, so um, yeah, I basically shopped like a regular consumer, just that I pay by making videos. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's begin with makeup products. So for makeup, I ordered myself a bunch of high-end liquid foundations because I am planning to do a review on high-end liquid foundations. I've actually did one uh, probably in 2017 um, and it's also in collaboration with Cosmedy.com and I did a review on my blog so this one's gonna be the same thing it's going to be on my blog as well so I chose a couple of high-end liquid foundations and they all have a theme and that is they all um, are supposed to give you that sort of glowy, slightly dewy finish um, because currently I'm really into like a glowy uh, look. Okay, so I'm going to begin um, talking about the high-end liquid foundations. So the very first liquid foundation is this one and this is from a brand which I have completely no idea how to pronounce. I should have done my research but I didn't, I'm sorry. but. I'll put the name right over here, it's called Kevin something and uh, I've never heard of this brand before but I stumbled upon it on Cosmony.com and I just did a research about the brand and the foundation and I really like how it sounds like. It's called the Etherealist um, Skin Illuminating Foundation so I was like oh my god I really want Etheria looking skin so um, I decided to get it. So for this foundation, I got it in the shade Light EF05. It is a little bit difficult to pick a foundation shade when you're shopping online, but what I do is just um, search for swatches and just kind of estimate which one I would like. I tend to go for those that um, is in between a light and medium and has a more natural beige yellow tone I guess because that's my skin tone. Uh, so this is the first foundation. I really like the packaging. It has a gradient uh, black to plum color on the top and the pump is a vintage gold color. Um, it doesn't have a cap but the pump is sort of hidden so it also prevents it from pumping out the foundation when you put it in your makeup bag and stuff. But personally, I feel like I will definitely prefer a foundation that comes with a cap because it's just a lot safer. Okay, so for this foundation, I feel like the shade is a 99 or even 100% match to my skin tone which I'm really happy about because it has a yellowish tone to it which when I pump it out, it does look a little bit uh, extreme like the yellow tones and I have yellow skin but I don't really like to emphasize the yellow tones but once I blend it out, it actually looks really seamless and it just blends really well into my skin and you can't really see the yellow tones in it anymore because it's sort of like blended out so it looks very natural I really like it so far I've just swatched it on my hands and it looks quite matte so I'm not really sure about the illuminating part but I'll let you guys know in my blog review so if you're interested to know more about these foundations make sure you check out my blog because I will be uploading the review the next foundation is from YSL and so far I've owned two products from YSL and I've really been enjoying them so I thought I'd try this because this is called the Awakening Foundation Weightless Radiance Flawless Coverage. So because of the word radiance, I decided to get this since it fits the theme. 
So this comes in a really standard YSL looking packaging. It has the gold. It's very simple. It has a glass bottle. It's quite heavy so probably not the most travel friendly foundation. Um, comes with a gold pump. Very simple looking, very classy, very sophisticated looking. I actually have not pumped this yet, I just realized because I feel like uh, looking at it like that, I can already tell that it's going to be quite a good match to my skin tone. Not sure if you can see, but it does have like a yellowish tone to it. Maybe I should swatch it. <laughs> I'm gonna swatch it. Okay, this foundation is not coming out. <laughs> What? Oh, I didn't press it down fully. So I'm just going to blend it out because I feel like I did pump quite a lot. It's quite liquidy. As you can see, it's already dripping down my hand. Too much product. It's actually quite light, which I like because I like foundations that are a little bit lighter than my skin tone so it helps to brighten up my skin and I feel like this isn't too light. This is a good shade for brightening up my skin tone because it still has that yellow tone in it. I like it. I like the shade. It does look quite illuminating actually so I think this is actually quite nice. I like it and after you like touch it, it doesn't feel that oily or sticky anymore. It's really smooth. Maybe I have smooth hands. <laughs> Not sure if you can see, I don't think you can. Maybe you can. Um, but this one's definitely a lot smoother. Ah, I like it. The next foundation is from Bobbi Brown and I decided to get this because I've heard a lot of good reviews about Bobbi Brown's foundation and they have a really popular like stick foundation at the moment but I decided to get the skin foundation um, like the liquid one because I am definitely more into liquid foundations rather than stick foundations. Uh, so this is the foundation. I've actually tried this already. Um, shade wise, I feel like this is probably the darkest one out of all the foundations. It has a very yellowish tone so I feel like it does look very natural on me but it's a little bit too natural for my liking um, because it doesn't really brighten up my skin tone and um, also it's very watery and very lightweight so once I blend it out I feel like the coverage is actually quite low um, although I read on the website that um, it's supposed to be like that so it it's sort of like a beautiful coverage foundation so if you like it light you can do a light layer and if you like it um, high coverage you can build as many layers as you want um, until you get um, the coverage that you want. I'm actually quite disappointed because I had a lot of expectations for Bobbi Brown and I just didn't really like the liquidy texture and how it felt on my skin because once I pump it out it's like dripping and I had to like immediately put it on my skin and when I put it on my skin it doesn't really seem to stay so not really sure about this um, but yeah this is the packaging very simple looking black cap black pump and yeah <laughs> the next foundation is from Chanel and this looks like a really small bottle but it's actually um, the same as all the others. It all has like 30 milliliters of product. Uh, so it just comes in this frosted glass bottle and it has a black cap with the Chanel logo on it and it's beige in color. So for this foundation, I feel like this one is the lightest shade um, and I actually quite like it. And this is the only foundation among the five foundations that I have that doesn't have a yellow tone in it. Oh, so I got this in the shade number 30 and yeah, it's the only one that doesn't have a yellow tone to it. It has more of the pinkish tone which I kind of like because even though I have yellow skin, like I said, I don't like to emphasize the yellow tones in my skin so something like this really helps to cancel out the yellow tones. So I'm really excited to try this. I feel like I will like this. 
The very last foundation is from Gucci and I didn't know Gucci had a cosmetic line until I saw it on Cosmetic.com so I was just like I need to try a product from Gucci so I decided to pick this one which is called the Lustrous Glow Foundation so you see it fits the theme and I got it in the shade 30 as well. So this foundation probably has the best packaging out of all the foundations. It looks like that. It looks kind of plain on the camera but um, it has a glossy black cap and the cap has the Gucci logo sort of embossed or textured all around it and at the top there is the Gucci logo in gold and I feel like my favorite part about this packaging is definitely this part. I don't know why but I feel like the black and gold just makes it look very very classy. I like the black and gold stripes and I think pair it with the cap, it has a really sophisticated yet vintage vibe and I like it. This one I feel like has a really good match to my skin tone. It's quite similar to um, this one so it has a yellow undertone to it and it also range sort of in between light and medium so those are the liquid foundations let's move on to the rest of the makeup products um, next i have a setting powder and this one is from laura mercier this is their invisible loose setting powder in the shade universal and i've heard so much about this powder if you have never heard of this powder then you're probably not into makeup uh, just like everyone's using this powder for some reasons even though it's just a setting powder there are a lot of setting powders that I love that I feel like works so well especially those from like K-beauty brands and most of them are really inexpensive they're like less than $10 or maybe like $12 so I'm really curious to know why everyone's hyping over this setting powder um, even though it costs like probably three times more expensive than the ones from like K-beauty brands so I decided to just try it out um, so I got it <laughs> next we have a brow pencil this one is from the brand I didn't know how to pronounce didn't know don't know how to pronounce uh, so this one's called the Precision Brow Pencil and the reason why I got this was because I was looking for a new brow pencil and I saw this and currently I'm really into brow pencils that are micro mini so this one is it and so I got this in the shade brunette which I feel like is a really nice match to my current hair color it's just a medium ashy brown color I think my favorite part about this product so far is the packaging. It doesn't come with a cap for the eyebrow pencil. So you just twist it and it comes out and I feel like that makes it really easy to use because it comes with a spoolie at the other end that comes with a cap. And usually for eyebrow pencils, um, it comes with two caps and it's just kind of troublesome I feel like. So with this, there's only one cap and so far this is the only one I've seen that only has one cap. The next product is a lipstick and it is from MAC. I got my very first MAC lipstick from Cosmery.com as well and I really love it. Um, it's really pigmented, it's very smooth and buttery to apply so I decided to go for it again because price wise I feel like it's actually really affordable. Um, so yeah, I decided to pick up another MAC lipstick and this is the Lip Tensity lipstick in the shade Doe. So I got a nude shade because I really want to try out a nude lip look. Um, I've never really liked having nude colored lips but for some reasons I really want to try a look that consists of a nude lip so I decided to try this out I like the color when I swatch it I like the texture of it it's very smooth and it feels very very moisturizing but like when you look at my entire look I'm not too sure about it yet the last makeup item is an eyeshadow palette and this one is from Tarte it is their Tatlet in Bloom eyeshadow palette so this is by no means a new palette it's 
actually quite an old palette so you might have already seen it in stores you might even own it already you might have swatched it um, whatever but yeah this is not a new palette but I was just looking through all the eyeshadow palettes on cosmetic.com and I feel like this is one of the palettes that I think looking at the colors is one that I will definitely use a lot because this one has a lot of neutral shades like bronze, browns, um, champagne just has a lot of browns I feel like and I love wearing brown eyeshadows so I will be using this palette to create two looks for two other videos um, including the other makeup products that I've shown you guys so if you're interested in that um, make sure to keep a lookout for it so those are all the makeup products, let's move on to skincare. I don't have a lot of skincare products. So the very first one is this one, this is called the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Synchronized Recovery Complex 2. So this is... So I've started using this for the past two nights and honestly I still don't know what this is because it didn't say what it is. It didn't say it's an essence, it didn't say it's a serum, but I assume it's something like a serum because it feels like a serum and it comes with a drop uh, like serums does so I just use it to replace um, the serum I was using um, so far obviously I have only used this for two nights I can't tell any difference my skin absorbs it really quickly and how I use it I just put two drops like on my cheeks and then I spread it around my skin um, I'm not sure if this has a fragrance but I don't like how it smells like the next product is a matching one and it is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Synchronized Complex 2. So I am 26 this year and I started to notice a lot of wrinkles um, appearing around my eyes and honestly they are really bothering me. So it might be due to a lot of reasons, you know, it may be due to having bigger eyes, maybe due to wearing contact lens, wearing too much makeup, but yeah, they are here and they're bothering me. I am not hoping that this is going to make them go away, but I'm just hoping that this is going to prevent more from coming. So yeah, after I noticed the wrinkles around my eyes, I just told myself that I need to get an eye cream. I haven't used an eye cream in quite a while. Since my last skincare routine video, I mentioned um, an eye cream. I finished that and I just completely stopped using an eye cream. So I decided to get this. Since it's matching, you know, I thought it'll work better. It's very light, fluffy, but at the same time, it's thick. Um, so I just use a little bit. I literally just touch a little bit and use whatever is on my finger and just pat it all around my eyes. Oh yeah, and this one doesn't smell good either but thankfully it's on my eyes so it can't really smell it unless you do this. Next two skincare products are from Aesop. I've never tried products from Aesop but every time I walk past their store I'll be like wow Aesop their things look so nice and like everything looks like it's gonna smell nice. I didn't know Cosmody.com offers Aesop products until recently so I decided to pick two items to try out and so the very first one is a mask. This is called the Primrose Facial Cleansing Mask. I completely forgotten how I picked this one out of all the masks but I believe this is something like a cleansing mask because I believe I was looking for something that has a deep cleansing effect. It's sealed but I've opened it. Let's open it. I think it's a deep cleansing one because it looks like a clay mask so usually clay masks are deep cleansing masks. Mm, I really like how this one smells. It has that minty herby scent and I love it. It reminds me of lemongrass and I love skincare products that has like this sort of herby lemongrass smell. The last skincare product which is from Aesop is a toner. Um, in my last skincare routine video I mentioned that I have a lot of toners that people sent me but for some reasons I am finishing up 
all of them so I thought I need a new toner so why not try one from Aesop so I picked this one which is called the BNP balancing toner and first of all I really like the packaging it looks like medicine which is an odd reason why I like it but I just thought it looks really cool and vintage and it's like glass so if you finish this you can recycle it you can put plants in it and I think it'll look really nice so I've already smelled this toner I haven't started using it because I still have a little bit of my current toner left so I'm gonna finish that up first but yeah I've smelled this toner but I'm gonna smell it again for the sake of reacting to the smell I hate the smell of this. Okay, maybe hate is a really strong word, but like I dislike the smell of it. Honestly, it reminds me of something, but I just can't tell what. It really, really, really reminds me of something. I don't like it, but I feel like maybe the smell won't be that bad because you know you're not gonna pull the entire thing on your face you're only gonna use a small amount of product so maybe it won't be that bad <laughs> but on to our very last five products and all five products are body care products so previously from Cosmery.com, I got myself my very first bath oil and I freaking love it it is from Aromatherapy Associates and I've used like more than half of it and it's just my favorite bath product right now um, I use it all the time especially on days where I'm feeling extra stress or I really need some help um, to sleep um, I really like the bath oil I also use it as a shower oil I believe I featured it in a favorites video before but yeah, I got myself my very first bath oil and I'm obsessed with it which is why this time around I told myself that I have I have to get some more. So I chose myself three new bath oils that are a bit excessive but never mind. So the first two are from Aromatherapy Associates and I feel like when it comes to stress relief um, relaxing stuff like that aromatherapy associates does a really great job in those kind of products so far I've tried three of their products um, the first one is a Himalayan salt bath product the second one is the bath oil as well as a candle and I believe I featured all three products in a favorites video before so that really shows a lot so the very first one is this one and it's called the Support Lavender and Peppermint Bath and Shower Oil. You guys should know by now I love the scent of lavender especially for distressing, relaxing. And so when I saw this, just I just couldn't let it pass, you know, I had to get it. So this is how it looks like. I love the packaging of it. It comes in a glass bottle and... It just looks very nice. Uh, you don't need a lot of product at once. Um, it's recommended to use one cap per bath. Okay, so I'm going to smell this because I've smelled it already and I think it smells freaking amazing. So I'm going to smell it again. It has lavender, so... Mm, it literally smells like a minty lavender essential oil. It smells really good. I love this. The other flavor of bath oil I got is this one and this is the Distress Mind Bath and Shower Oil for focusing and soothing. So you guys know that I deal with a good amount of stress. I feel like it's better to de-stress yourself rather than um, coping with all the stress until you get like emotionally unstable stuff like that so for me i like to go through de-stress routines pretty often especially on days where i feel extra tired extra upset extra worn out um so yeah i'm really committed to de-stressing so when i saw this product and it's called de-stress i just knew that we were meant to be together so this one looks like that. It is a little bit yellowish. My Deep Relax bath oil is a lot more yellowish than this one. And the lavender one is like the clearest looking one. 
Wait, I forgot how this one smells like. So let me smell it again. Mm. It smells more similar to my Relax uh, bath oil. I like it. I think it actually smells very similar, but this one is a lot more mild since my Relax bath oil is a deep relax bath oil uh, the scent is very intense but this one smells like a lighter version of it my very last bath oil is from Jo Malone and because I got obsessed with bath oils I thought I would try um, different brands of bath oils so I thought I would give Jo Malone's bath oil a go and I picked the scent Blackberry and Bay because it sounds like a fragrance that is not relaxing and as you can see I have a lot of relaxing, de-stress, lavender scented bath oil so I wanted to try something different and I've heard that the Blackberry and Bay fragrance is a really popular one from Jo Malone as well so I thought I'd try this. I've smelled it already, it has a berry scent but at the same time it's also quite musky so I'm not sure if this is, uh, it actually smells really good. I forgot what I was about to say, but this smells really good. It's very berry-ish, very like fruity-ish, but because of the muskiness, I think because of the bay, it smells very herby, which I really like. <laughs> Next we have a product from Clarins, a brand that I've never tried before but this is the Relax Bath and Shower Concentrate with Essential Oils. So I saw this product and I did a really quick research, I read reviews and reading the reviews just made me want this so badly. I just read people saying that after a long day of work, when they go back home, they just use this and their entire body just feels so relaxed and so and like their muscles feel so relaxed and loosened and I was just like what? Like this is just like a shower gel. How can a shower gel help you relax so well? you know so I decided to get it <laughs> you can also choose to use this in your bath um, just pour it into your bath and it becomes a bath concentrate so I've also smelled this already and it smells really similar really close to my relaxed bath oil from aromatherapy associates mm. but it's it is a little bit different but it smells very similar. It has that like spicy smell. <laughs> I like it and I can't wait to use it because I've never used something like this before. So I'm very excited. The very last product is from my favorite brand, Aromatherapy Associates and this is their Polishing Natural Exfoliating Scrub. Every time I take a bath, I love to scrub my body so currently I'm using two body scrubs uh, so I thought I would expand my <laughs> scrub collection and get this one because first of all it's from Aromatherapy Associates and second it's a scrub so I've actually smelled this already and I don't really like it which is very disappointing I feel like this is a, uh, probably not the first time I don't like like the initial smell of a product from Aromatherapy Associates did you get what I'm saying? <laughs> um, but yeah, this one contains sea salt, coffee, and grapefruit, which is why it doesn't smell good. It just smells very, very salty. I'm gonna smell it again, even though I don't like it. I feel like this is worse than this toner. Smelling this is worse. It's just like a salty coffee. I don't like it. I hope it does a really good job in exfoliating otherwise I'm probably not gonna use this because my other two scrubs smells amazing. 
So I've come to the end of this haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I will be creating a lot more content for Cosmetic.com using all these products. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you're interested to watch these products in action. And if you're interested to get any items from Cosmetic.com, I have a discount code which I'll leave in the description box below. And with that said, I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye! Oh, oh, oh.